All right, guys, MCU Collector here with video number three in the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, Avengers Wave 3, Avengers Endgame, um, Armored Thanos Build-A-Figure. So here we have Captain America. Now, this figure does not even come with the Build-A-Figure part, um, and this will probably be um, a little bit of a shorter review, or I always say that and it ends up being really long, but I'm going to try a couple of different heads on this figure. It seems like that's something that everyone was interest is interested in. Um, another thing, because I'm getting this question... I'm getting bombarded on Instagram and YouTube here with this question. Where did I get these? Where did I get these? Um, I have a local uh, connect. He gets me um, the Marvel Legends. Usually, I, if you notice that I tend to get figures pretty early, um, I, all, I get them from the same, from the same source. Um, so I can't say exactly where, who, all this and that, but it is from a local hookup. Um, so let's get right to Captain America. So we have the Avengers logo down there, Captain America. You can see it comes with the regular round vibranium shield, and it is the same shield that we've seen um, released over and over again. The head looks very similar to the first Avengers uh, movie, Captain America, but it is not the same head, even though it does look similar. So we're going to do some swaps to kind of see um, how they would look or if it would even work. So fingers crossed, we'll see. Um, but pretty cool looking. There's the side artwork looking pretty good. Now, here on this image, he does have a chin strap. So why the figure doesn't have a chin strap, I don't know. Another thing is the quantum suits, which we don't really know if they're quantum suits or if they're space suits or whatever they are. Um, in the latest trailer, we know that they're white. Um, the figure is a gray color. Um, early concept art is my assumption, unless maybe it changes in the movie. Who knows? Um, it is what it is that, you know, this thing happens all the time when it comes to action figures and toys. Um, it's nothing new. Does it suck? Sure, but <clears throat> it is what it is. So here is a look at the back of the package. We have the entire wave, and the bio reads, Captain America, the first Avenger. Steve Rogers continues to protect the world from evil as the star-spangled hero, Captain America. Now, these bios are very, very vague, because obviously don't want to give out too much information, so um, we just kind of have to go with it. Now, one thing that is really interesting, let me see if I can kind of zoom in here. Um, if we look, the nice promo image of Captain America in that quantum suit or space suit or whatever it's called, if you notice those two red lights there, um, it's interesting that the suits will be powered up in some way. What exact way that is, we don't yet know, but um, they are going to be powered up. And it's very similar to, I think, the Hank Pym suit when he went into the quantum realm in Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, but we really don't know. But let's get this uh, figure open and take a look. All right, guys. So here is the Captain America figure out of the package. So nothing too special when it comes to accessories. It is the same shield that we've seen uh, previously before. The paint looks almost exactly the same to the 10th anniversary Civil War 2-pack shield. So I'm not even going to bother going over that. So it does have a new head sculpt. Um, so another Captain America head sculpt. So it's kind of interesting. Um, you could see actually on the bottom. So there is like a blue chin strap that would go around as part of the helmet. But for whatever reason, it's just not, um, doesn't go over his chin like a strap does, like, you know, the, the concept art show. So it, it's kind of interesting. Now, the other really interesting things to this figure is the, the design of the suit and the sculpted things and kind of what we have going. Um, so a lot of you guys may have seen the, the leaked set footage where it shows the Battle of New York. Even in the latest trailer, if you notice when it shows Hawkeye in some kind of hallway and there's an explosion, you'll notice that there's something on his left hand that's glowing. So from the leaked set photos, that you, they had some kind of thing on their hand or their, uh, their left hand or wherever. Um, this figure has it as well. This one looks like a blue X where it looked more um, rounded and from the trailer and the set photos. Um, so we don't know exactly what that is, but it's some kind of device. And the way it's sculpted, it looks almost as though there's a strap holding it onto their hand, um, except it doesn't really go around. But it's it's very interesting because it's here on the left hand. The right hand does not have that whatsoever. So it is on the left hand. Um, now this figure, I'm assuming, is going to be the same exact figure that we're getting in the upcoming Target exclusive two-pack of Hawkeye and Black Widow, in which it comes with um, interchangeable heads for Iron Man and Iron Man helmeted head, um, as well as an Ant-Man helmeted head, and then the uh, Nebula alternate head for the female body with the updated Black Widow head, and then of course the unmasked Clint Barton head. 
I'm assuming it's the same exact figure, but there's some very interesting things going on in the sculpt of it. And we'll take a look at that here soon, but I do want to go over the articulation. Now it is a pretty basic figure as far as articulation goes. There's not a whole lot going, but he can look down, no problem. He can look up, no problem. Obviously you get the full swivel. There's a little bit of head pivot in there, not a whole lot. The arms can go straight out, which is good. You get a full rotation, of course. Upper bicep swivel there. You get a double jointed elbow that works good, and you actually have this little um, elbow guard piece that really sticks out. If you really get a close look at it, it looks kind of funny, um, but it is there that you get a wrist swivel, and there is a hinge. However, this hand fits very deep into the 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 port the arm port socket wherever uh, so it's actually a little difficult to hinge so you don't get a whole lot of use out of it but it is hinged and then the right hand is an open hand so you can kind of hold the strap of the shield on the inside now the ab goes down that far goes back probably a little more further than it really should or needs to we get a waist swivel the legs go this far apart you get an upper thigh cut there a double jointed knee which works quite well there is no boot swivel or anything but we get a nice ankle pivot that hinges all the way down like all the way down which is great and then hinges up quite a lot so that's great movement and articulation in there now let's take a closer look at the figure in which we'll do some head swaps as well so here's kind of a closer look at the Captain America figure. So if, based on early images that we had seen, they, they weren't the highest quality because they probably got shared so many times and screenshotted all this and that. I didn't think the head sculpt looked very good. Now, I also still don't think it's the greatest. It's, it's not terrific or anything, but it's not terrible either. Um, so it is one of those figures where it's much better in person. Now they use the digital face print and one thing that's really odd and I don't know if it's supposed to be like to get his face dirty but there's some speckles throughout his cheeks um, and whatnot in there so it's kind of it's kind of odd. Uh, but the sculpt of it is nice. We got those the, the ears or whatever they're supposed to be um, in there and the sculpt of it is good. But um, again, it's still really not the greatest, uh, but it's not terrible. Before we look at the rest of the figure, let's go right into the head swap. So I'm going to pop this head off, and we're going to see about the Civil War 2-pack from the 10th anniversary line and see if it fits on here. And it does not. So that's not going to work, unfortunately. That's too bad. Um, so then if that one doesn't work, I'm sure the Steve Rogers Chris Evans head will not work either. And of course, it does not, but man, that probably would have looked really good had that worked. Oh yeah, you know what, God, that's too bad. That really would have looked pretty good. So it's just a little, the ball peg's just a little too large. So if you guys are skilled with a Dremel, I'm sure somebody will be able to make it happen. Um, I don't even know if back then these head sculpts came off or not. But, you know, this one's definitely not my favorite, so I'm not sure why I would even bother trying this one. I'm not even going to take this one out. I got another one because I know that they are going to revisit the Battle of New York somehow. So I got an extra one of these figures to have in my endgame display or to possibly put in my homecoming display since he did wear that suit in those, uh, the de those detention videos and the PE videos and that kind of thing. So... We shall see. So we'll just look at the, the figure itself and look at the sculpt. So there's good sculpting detail and textures in the figure. There's not a whole lot of paint. So we get the black, the gray with some red. It's, it's kind of sloppy in some areas. Right there on the torso, you can see some of that reds into the black. We got some red going into the gray here. So it's just not, not terrific, but it's also not terrible, I guess. Um, you know, I wish some of these paint apps would be a little bit cleaner. Looks like this red spot here is just off the mark slightly. Um, the A looks good because the weird thing is the black is part of the textured. Um, and then you have these floating gray pieces there. So it's kind of weird how they did that where it's like indented in where you think it should have been raised. So it's kind of weird. So I'd really be, kind of look out for that as far as the paint apps and some of the figures that you're looking to get. Um, and then we just got a gray throughout. So it looks like the gray on the legs is the plastic and then the black is what's painted on. But the sculpt of it is very nice. A lot of line work in the sculpt. Look at the shoes too. That's interesting on the back of the shoes. Almost like it's some kind of uh, uh, repulsor or some kind of um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Um, some kind of jet booster or something like that on the back of the feet. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I don't know. It's hard to tell, you know, when the movie's still a fair ways away. You know, we still have uh, five or six weeks or whatever it is, but a lot of good sculpting detail throughout. And then there's a closer look at whatever that thing is on his left hand. You can see on the opposite side, I'm not sure exactly what that's going to be. Looking at the back of the figure, this is really interesting because there is a lot of sculpted detail on the back of this figure. So it's interesting that they would go through all the trouble and hassle of doing all the sculpting on the back of a figure when we know Hasbro usually puts very minimal effort. So yes, we don't see any paint on the back of the figure, but that's very interesting that they did all of this sculpting throughout the back. And there's a lot of sculpt work in there, and it does look really good. You can see the depth, several different layers and the depth of it all. I really like the way that looks. It does look very good. So um, it just builds more and more to the hype of the movie as far as what these suits are. Are they Quantum Realm suits? Are they space suits? What are they going to do in these suits? Um, so I can't wait. I'll be watching it the Thursday night that it's going to be coming out. I always take my family, so I go with my kids um, when we're really hyped and excited for it. So um, I also can't wait for the two-pack that's going to be coming out, the Target exclusive. So on March 31st, as these are all street dated, I will be at my local Target to try and get a few of those two-packs. Um, and then hopefully the heads can be all kind of swapped around because I'm pretty sure this will be the exact same body. But... You know, Hasbro has surprised us before, so we shall see. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up if you guys liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and as always, thank you for watching.